Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with this smoky blue holiday friendly eye look, so let's jump to it. As usual, my brows and lids are already primed. I'm going to start with this Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm going to use that contour color, and I'm just going to use it as a transition color. So as you see here, that's what I'm doing, going back and forth in windshield wiper-like strokes. Then I'm going to go into my Kat Von D Monarch palette. I'm going to use this dark brown color and I'm going to take my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and I'm just going to concentrate that dark brown color into my crease, into my outer V. And I do have a discount code if you guys are interested in any of the Sigma Beauty products in general. I'll leave them down below. Now I'm going in with my Sigma E. 30 I believe and it's a pencil brush and I'm just applying this black color into my outer V just to deepen it and build this smoky eye and then I'm going to take a small blending brush and just continue to blend it out the key to a nice blended smoky eye is patience and blending so yeah if you want your smoky eye to come out bomb you have to build your colors and just constantly go in and blend it out and that's how you get a nice transition with the dark colors um, in the smoky eye so that's what I'm doing here is just blending next I'm going to take some NYX uh, glitter type paste adhesive it's really to add glitter products but I'm going to use it to apply all over my lid and just to keep the blue eyeshadow that I apply on my lid so that it doesn't spread so now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hill the artist palette and I'm taking this navy blue color and I'm just going to start patting that over most of my lid so I'm really just focusing on the inner and outer part of my eyelid I'm not taking it all the way into my inner corner because I'm going to go in with another blue color but I'm just blending it out and that other brush wasn't doing too much so I went in with my Sigma E60 I think it's the um, shader brush I can't remember but yeah I'm just taking that navy blue color all over my lid and again going back in with my E40 brush and just blending 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 um, so it doesn't get too messy but I use that glitter adhesive so it keeps the color really just on my mobile lid now I'm going into this uh, Sigma eyeshadow palette. I can't think of the name, but it'll be down below in this color is nebula And it's like an aqua blue and so now I'm taking that all the way into in, into the inner corner of my eyelid and blending it into that navy blue um, So mainly just for like my inner corner to the middle of my eyelid And just blending it out and so I have this nice like light aqua blue to this deep navy smoky eye type of look so I wanted more of like a gradient effect so you have the blue blue like in the inner corner and then it smokes out as it um, gets to the outer parts of my eye and now going back in with some of that navy blue and just deepening it deepening the eye look a little more and then I'm just gonna go and blend out any areas that um, I feel need to be blended and then And then to finish the eye look off, I'm going um, back into that highlight and contour palette and I'm going to use that gold color and just pop it on the inner corners of my eye just to highlight the look a little more. And then I added liner and mascara off, well lashes off camera. And now moving on to my face, I'm going to start by applying some primer. This is my Becca, you know, Ever Matte Primer. I've been using it for a couple years now, actually. And then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and I believe it's the color Coco. And I'm going to apply a light layer of that onto my face. Now I'm going to conceal and highlight the rest of my face and I'm using the ColourPop concealer in the color Deep Golden 60 and just doing my regular like foundation roots highlight routine. So I'm going to apply under my eyes, my chin, Cupid's bow, bridge of my nose and my forehead and then I'm just going to blend everything out. And 
And to set my highlight, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder in medium deep. And I'm just going to apply that to all the areas that I applied concealer. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. Now moving on to bronzer, I'm using this ColourPop bronzer in bits and pieces and it was kind of on the light side. I actually could, this is my first time using it, but I actually could have got the darkest color. This color is a little pale, but um, for blush, I'm using my Milani, I believe it's Dusty Rose, something like that. It'll be down below. And then I'm going to highlight using my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color Rum. And then I also went over that with some NYX. Uh, with the NYX highlighter in Synthetica. Then I'm going to set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I also added some uh, mascara to my bottom lashes. Now onto my lips using this dark brown pencil. Um, it's a cheap like little 99 cent pencil but I love this dark brown color and then I'm going to use my NYX Butter Gloss and Ginger Snap. This is an Odie but still a goodie and apply that all over my lips. It's a nice brown glossy kind of color and then I'm going to add my MAC under the sheets from the Nicki Minaj collection and I'm just going to pop that in the center of my lips and just kind of rub my lips to blend it out and that is the final look guys um, yeah I really like the way that this smoky eye came out you know it's a little color but not too loud and in your face good for the winter time it's definitely holiday friendly and yeah you can wear it during the day and at night that's it. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.